Welcome to the Delta Maps Solution tutorial. Here we have identifying triangles of a given type. Here you're going to ask to determine the type of the triangle that is drawn below here. There are several types here. So we want to recall our core concept about all the different possible types of triangles. Here I show you that the um, you can classify it by the sides so you can have scalene, isosceles, and equilateral. Scalene means none of the sides are congruent. Isosceles means two of the sides are congruent. So that means they're the same value. And equilateral is when all three sides are the same. Then you can classify it by the angle. Acute is when all the angles here are less than 90 degrees. The right means one of the sides is 90. Obtuse means one of the angles here is greater than 90 and equilateral they all have to be 60 because they're all the same so if we take a look here first of all let's see if it's scalene isosceles or equilateral notice that the two sides here are the same 4.56 and 4.56 that makes this an isosceles triangle then we want to classify it by its angle is it acute right obtuse or equal Okay, we saw that the angles here are 90, 45, and 45. So this is a right triangle. So this is an isosceles right triangle. Good job. Let's do another problem. Here, it's the same question. You're going to determine the type of triangle that is drawn below. I zoomed in so you could see the numbers a little bit more. All right. First of all, we want to classify it uh, by its side. So all the sides here are different. So that makes it a scalene. One is 5.71. The other one's 5.24. The other one's 6.66. They're all different. Makes it a scalene. So now we want to look inside and look at the angles. They're all less than 90. So that makes it an acute. So this becomes a scalene acute. So that is correct. Good job. None of the sides are congruent and all the angles are less than 90 degrees, making it in a scalene acute. Here we have the next problem. Ask the same thing. Determine the type of triangle that is drawn below. We want to first classify it by its size. So it's all the same. 5.24, 5.24, 5.24. That makes an automatically an equilateral triangle. An equilateral triangle as a result will have all the angles the same. It's always going to be 60, 60, and 60. So this is a equilateral triangle. Good. Here we have the next problem for this triangle as well. So let's classify it by its size. So it's 7.12, 8.89, 4.1. They're all different. That makes it a scalene. Now we want to look at the angles. 27 degrees, 52, 101. Notice the 101 makes it greater than 90. That makes it an obtuse triangle. So we have a scalene because all the sides are not congruent obtuse because one of the angles is greater than 90 so it's scalene obtuse all right there you go we are we are correct here we have the last problem it's asking us the same thing let's make sure we can classify it so let's look at the sides 5.92 5.92 7.58 so we notice that two of the sides are congruent, 5.92 and 5.92. That makes it automatically an isosceles. Now we want to look inside. 50, 80, and 50. Notice they're all less than 90. So that makes it an acute. This problem is an isosceles because two sides are congruent. All the angles are less than 90. So that makes it acute. Isosceles, acute triangle. Submit. And there you go. Two congruent sides, isosceles, then all the angles are less than 90, makes it acute. So there you go. Those are all your possible solutions that you can see when you identify triangles of a given type.